Hello you cool cats! Welcome back to another episode of Xenoblade Chronicles 2. We are picking up right where I left off saving for the end and of the chapter. so, Papoonin wisely ran away for dear life. Wise? Who wise now? You useless idiot! Why can Papoonin not even die properly? <laughs> what if he has better to repay money? <laughs> huh? Die? Repay who? Meh. None of your business. Anyway, tell me where Rex and Blade went. Rex, Titan, and friends ran away. Went to south of Cyclas Sea. After that, Banner knew as much as Papoonin. Storm was very thick, so Papoonin... Papoonin lost them, yes? Yes, but... And then, <laughs> run away like coward? Yes, but... Man, 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 man! people excuses of Papoonin! Just get back here! You got lot of work to do! Man, man, man! Even pricey insurance banner takeout on Maelstrom go to waste! Still, how interesting. Heading southward from Cyclas Sea. In current season, that likely take them to Gormont. You, go! Get Consul Dougal on the line, immediately! Yes, sir. One moment, please. Why, if it isn't Chairman Banner! What an unexpected pleasure! May I just say that I admire how you rebranded those broken core crystals? And selling them onto the Dunderheads back in Morar Den. Absolutely sublime! Banner did not call to hear pointless flattery. And blubbering about core crystals on unsecured line? Is Dougal some kind of idiot? <laughs> what if Indor tap our communication? Oh, of course. I'm very sorry. Man, forget it. We got bigger fishes to fry. Oh? What's going on? Listen up. <sighs> Pyra? Oh, thank goodness. You aren't injured at all, are you? No, I'm... Fine, I guess. Where? I'm not certain. We seem to have washed up on a titan of some kind. A titan? <gasps> Where's Gramps? And Nia? Better go find them. We gotta find them. They can't be far. Okay. I'm sure you're itching to get searching for Gramps and Nia, but I should warn you that you'll probably encounter a few enemies on the way. You'll want to be prepared for that, so I'd better quickly fill you in on how Rex gets stronger and improves his capabilities. Among the things you'll earn for completing a battle are two important types of points, WP and SP. WP stands for weapon points. You can think of these as a measure of the level of skill that Rex has with his weapon, and you'll need them to level up arts. The same art will deal much higher damage to enemies at higher levels, so it's worth strengthening your arts at earliest opportunities. Give it a go by heading to main characters, characters, character setup, enhance arts. SP, meanwhile, stands for skill points. These represent how well tra Rex is trained in his battle techniques, and they're used to unlock passive skills. Try giving Rex some new skills in main menu characters character setup affinity chart. Let me take this time to bend your ear quickly about driver's stats. Every driver has a few basic ones, namely HP, strength, ether, dexterity, agility, and luck. HP, the driver's health, will fall, to the, will fall if it drops to zero. Strength, affects damage from physical arts. Ether, affects damage healing from ether arts. Dexterity affects attack accuracy, 
Agility, effects, chance to resist enemy attacks. Luck makes it easier to resist enemy debuffs reactions. All right. Treasure chest. You're all mine. Um. Hold on, I almost forgot to tell you about something really important. How to develop your blade's capabilities. There are three main ways to develop a blade. Weapon modification, equipping aux cores, and the affinity chart. Weapon modification is exactly what it sounds like. A blade's weapon is tied to them from the moment they're awakened. A blade's weapon is tied to them from the moment they are awakened, so it just can't be replaced. You can apply core chips to weapons in main menu characters, blade setup, weapon modification. If you come across a shop selling core chips during your adventure, it's always a good idea to invest in some new ones. Next, let's talk about the affinity chart. This is a chart which shows the range of proficiencies available to a specific blade. Here's where you can acquire or enhance abilities like arts or field skills. Field skills can be a great help in removing obstacles from your path. These abilities and power-ups can be had by fulfilling the condition of the affinity rewards on the affinity chart. There's a whole host of goals you can aim for. You can take a look at the affinity rewards here, main menu characters, blade setup affinity chart. Finally, we have ox cores. They are like accessories specifically for blades to equip. Perhaps it's a little too soon to tell you about ox cores, though. I'll save the details for when you are actually got a hold of one. Thank you for that. Oh. <sighs> Grumps. Mm, it is good to see you run in oh, your look Rex. at him. How awful. Hold on. I should have some herbs. You are kind, but no amount of human medicine would suffice. But Weep not, my boy. This is my fate. Uh, I can't help it. Can I? No parting is forever. We will surely meet again when the flow of the ether will set. <sighs> the days with you were the best. I ever heard. Until we meet again, Rex. Gramps. Gramps. I told you not to cry, didn't I, Rex? <laughs> Rex? <laughs> Rex? Grumps! Rex! your eyes. Don't you recognize me? Um, well, not really. No. Yeah, you don't look the same. I am so confused right now. So you see, by maximizing cellular regeneration to retain all vital bodily functions, I seem to have reverted to a larval state. Well, that's quite handy. Must be nice to be a titan. This isn't something just any old titan can do. Only one so advanced as myself. Um, Rex, are you angry? <laughs> I'm not. It's more that I didn't want you to see me blubbering like a baby. Oh, it's okay to be angry. So, when will you be back to your old self? Good question. No more than 300 years. 
Three hundred years? But I'll be long dead by then. Hmm. I suppose that's true. But what about my house? Do I have to live in the streets? Perhaps this is an opportunity <laughs> to fly the nest. You mean, pay rent? Oh, 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 miser boots. It's a massive extra expense. Still. Glad you're okay, Grants. Oh, shit. We can't stand around all day. We have to find Mia. Mia? You mean that driver and her blade from before? Yeah. They kind of saved our lives. I do hope they're all right. Gramps, do you remember anything? I remember crashing through many trees before landing here. They probably fell off then. Hmm. That's not a whole lot to go on. Perhaps we would have some luck following the trail of broken trees. Good thinking, Pyra. Let's go. By the way, Rex, is that a core crystal I see shining on your chest? Just what happened to you? I'll tell you later. Right now, we need to find Nia. Oh, -ho! now this makes a nice change. <laughs> now you get to come for a ride. All right, where, where, where did I come from? I feel immensely lost. You know, I'm not gonna worry about it. Let's let's just keep keep on keeping on. Maybe the enemies will just let me pass. What you're looking at right now is a collection point. Check here to uncover collectible items. You'll find collection points all over all rest, and each area will have its own selection of items to discover. Also, there are some collection points where you can use blade field skills to find special collectible items that you couldn't find out otherwise. The collectibles that you find are surely to come in handy during your adventure, so if you come across a collection point, please be sure to check it out. Come out, come out! And now that you've seen what it's like to collect from a collection point... Huh. Uh, don't expect to see that anymore. Oh. <sighs> Looks like something's blocking your way up ahead, but if your blades have the right field skills, then you might be able to overcome obstacles like this. Try investigating that fallen tree. I call upon the power of fire! Nicely done. As you can see, you use Pyra's fire mastery to burn it up and get it out of your way. If you want to see all the field skills Pyra can use, go to the main menu, character setup, blade setup, info. There are lots of places on all rest you won't be able to get to if you don't have the right field skills. Even if an obstacle seems impossible at first, it's worth getting a bit closer to see if you can do something about it. Anyway, let's keep moving and see if we can find Nia anywhere. And arrived. <laughs> All in one piece. What's that sound? I felt a ripple in the ether. Feels like a driver is using a blade in battle. I'm certain of it. Let's go. Okay. Ugh, oh, so gross. My lady, leave this to me. I'm not just gonna abandon you, Zuma. Huh? We're here to help! Mia! Rex! What are you doing here? My lady, now's our chance. Let's attack! Alright then! Better run while you can, ugly frog. Before you help Mia out, let me explain a little about how you fight when you have multiple drivers in your party. The icon that the arrow is pointing to right now indicates the enemy's weakness. Since it's the fire icon, this enemy is weak against fire, so Pyra's got something of an advantage here. Now let's talk about party how to get party members back on their feet. When a driver's HP hits zero, they'll be incapacitated. As long as you have at least one section filled in the party gauge, you can move over to an incapacitated party member and press A to revive them. Even if you're incapacitated yourself, your party members can come and revive you in the same way. You just need enough charge in the party gauge. 
but I need to tell you about blade combos. But to do that, first we'll need to launch a special. I'll fill up your special guard this time, so fire away. You should try out the blade combo going from a fire element special to a water element one. First, trigger Pyrus level one special. Get the Hit it! No! Let's do this! I like your attitude. To link a blade combo, you'll need to use a special one level higher than the previous one. Hop up Mia's special gauge up to two. So press the ZL to trigger it. So why you guys even well? I guess that's a stupid question. Indeed. Seriously, it's good to see you. And you're alright. Right back at you. Hey, by the way, what happened to the big guy who saved us? The Titan? Are you talking about me? Wait, what? How? That's sort of a long story. Let's get somewhere we can rest. I'll tell you all about it then. That seems prudent, my lady. Sure, lead the way. I see. So you two are off to Elysium. Listen, I never thanked you properly. For saving us, I mean. Dromark said that you carried us all the way here. We owe you our lives, Titan. No need to thank me. After all, you were the ones who saved Rex. Don't mention it. So, you Titans can regenerate. Pretty handy. This isn't something just any old Titan can... You can retire that line now. Excuse me. I'd like less of that attitude. If you had listened to me and declined that reckless job to begin with, we wouldn't be in this mess. Take a nap, you said. Like I was <laughs> some kind of doddery old man. Okay, okay, I get it. I'm a terrible disappointment. Look how sorry I am. Can you not muster even a shred of sincere remorse? Sorry, but I can't. Hmm, what? If I hadn't taken the job, They'd have got their hands on Pyra. Rex. I couldn't let that happen. No way. They can never take her. Uh, hmm. I mean, he has a point. <laughs> Look how she sleeps. That's ridiculous. <laughs> Hello there. There's still awake, I see. A plant that keeps popping in. I can't seem to sleep. It's good to see you again, Azurda. Likewise. Though you've changed a lot since last we met, Pyra. I suppose I have. A lot's happened. Yes, it has. I wanted to thank you for saving my dear Rex. And I need to know what you told him. Is that what you really intend? Yes. It is my true desire. I see. Well, that's good enough. I have no reason to doubt you, Pyra. That said, I do have one other goal now. Jin and Malos. I cannot allow them to continue with their current course. The fate of an Aegis never changes. Right. And you're going to get Rex mixed up in this? <laughs> I'm not blaming you. No matter how hard you tried, that boy would find some way to get involved.
I see half your core is missing. Seems you've taken on quite a burden. Azurda, I... Promise me you'll take care of Rex. I will. Right then. We should probably try and find a town or something. Does anyone have any idea where we are? This is Gormod, a province of the Adanian Empire. You must have seen the Gormod Titan before. Yeah, only from a distance, though. We're somewhere around its belly. So, this is Gormod, huh? Hang on a second. Nia, your ears. Are you Gormot, eh? Well done, genius. Took you long enough. <laughs> Gormot is the land of my lady's birth. Wow. Well, that's reassuring. If we want to find a town, the first step is to get out of this forest. Keep heading up, and we'll hit the plain soon. The town's that way. Brilliant. Let's get going. I'm surprised it didn't give me a tutorial on how to climb up vines. <laughs> I joke, I joke. It is one of those complaints that I have a lot about, um, oh, here we go. <laughs> ah, it looks like you found a treasure trove, but as you may have noticed, it's a little different from the regular kind. The icon above the box indicates you'll need the help of your blade's field skills to open it. But even if you can't open a treasure trove right away, there's no need to despair. If you develop your blades and help them to acquire field skills from the affinity chart, someday you'll surely be able to open it up and see what's inside. You're all mine. Calm your mind. Oh. I don't have lock picking. Alright. Anyways, I'm I, I just I don't hate all the hand holding in video games. Sometimes I feel like it's necessary. But then there's times where it's just like I could probably have figured it out on my own. This is great! Especially after slumming it on Gramps' back for so long. <laughs> it served you well enough. Over there, that's Torigoth, biggest city in Gormod. I'll accompany you as far as the city. After that, I'm afraid you're on your own. Oh, on our own? Of course. I would have thought even you'd know why I can't be seen with you. Because you're supposed to be one of them. I haven't known them very long. But you know, they're still my crew. They're kind of jerks. Your crew? Even after they tried to kill you? That's as may be. But they're the closest thing I have to a family. Nia? Right, let's go. Um. 
Right, it's time for your big hike to Torgoth. Around this point, you want to start paying attention to the level of trust between blade and driver. Trust is a vital resource that you need to unlock levels on your blade's affinity chart. So if you want to maximize the support that you get from your blade, you need to make winning their trust a priority. When you complete a quest, you'll build trust with whichever blade you're with. Trust goes up when you achieve maximum affinity in battle as well. Affinity bonds will shine with a golden color when they're at their height. Right now, I'd say it's about time we set off for Torgoth. <clears throat> so, on our little journey to Torgoth, I would like to say that the first time I journeyed there, I died twice. Um, I'm gonna aim to not die. Uh, dying kind of sucks, so, you know, we'll just um, avoid that. Okay. So, those things are aggressive, but I don't remember if this thing is. The world of Allrest still contain many zoological enigmas just waiting to be solved. If you try targeting all sorts of enemies, you'll occasionally encounter ones whose icon looks different from that of normal enemies. We call those unique monsters, and they're a bit special. Yeah, that one over there on that hill. Unique monsters are much tougher than the regular kind. Even the strongest drivers in Allrest often have trouble with them. So if you take down a unique monster, you'll surely earn the respect of people all over Allrest. That said, they're not a challenge for the faint-hearted. You'll want to make sure you're prepared if you plan on surviving the powerful attacks they often wield. Yeah, let's let's give it a wide berth. Alright. What have we here? So now the trick here is to um not run into anything. Cause everything is death. if that enemy is friendly or not. Okay, let's cut through here. I'm derived. Cause I think that <laughs> thing's safe. All in one piece. Okay, now that I know is aggressive. I don't remember. I haven't been here in a while. Oh, okay. See that thing? See that thing right there? That big old gorilla thing? Horrible. Horrible. Yeah, you're like, oh, is it really that big, though, Mina? It is huge. Don't... Oh, please, just, just... No, sir, please, sir, just... I'm, I'm asking you. Like, don't do this. I just, I just want to... I just, I just want to get there. I want to go to the place. Ugh. For the lava. This is my nightmare. Alright. Let's just hug this bottom part down here. Maybe it will take pity on me and stay, stay over there. Can I can I even like click on it and see oops? Just, just go. Don't get ahead of yourselves. No, 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 no. Rex, it, it's level go. 81. So as you can see, it's level 81. It's horrible. Put the weapon away. It's level 81. That was the thing that killed me twice while I was trying to get to Torgoth. Hang on a moment, guys. Is it just me or is the cloud sea level higher than it was before? I think you're right. Guess it must be what they call high tide. The cloud sea level changes because of the Gormont Titan walking through it, right? At times the clouds reach scarcely oh. At times the clouds reach scarcely up to the Titan's ankles. While at other times, like now, the clouds are around its belly. With the clouds at this height, I guess we won't be able to make it back to the place where we made camp. Indeed, the area will be submerged beneath the clouds. But the Titan's always moving, so I'm sure the clouds will be lower again sooner or later. Quite right. I'd heard about stuff like this, but it's kind of amazing seeing it firsthand. 
You don't get phenomena like this on Argentium or Lefaria. Lefterra, that's for sure. Elrist really is a big place. Alright, that's enough, Goffin. Let's get along. Torgoth is so close now, I can smell it. The Titans of Alrest are surrounded by the Cloud Sea, and as Rex and his friends are discussing, the Cloud Sea has tides that come and go. The shifting tides will close off places that you could once visit, as well as open up places that you couldn't reach, so plan your adventure accordingly. You can check the status of the Cloud Sea's tides by looking at the Environmental Information Indicator. Take a look at the newly added icon in the top right corner. If the Cloud Sea's level is shown above the median line, it means the clouds are at high tide. Conversely, if it's below the median line, it means that the clouds are currently at low tide. Hey! Look what I found! So, this is Torogoth. It hasn't changed a bit. Nia? It's nothing. Okay, then. I'll show you to an inn. Then I'm out of here. Oh, Nia, we want you to stay. Don't go back with the mean people. They're terrible. There's a crowd over there in Torgoth. <laughs> what the bloody hell is this? Don't tell me this is meant to be me. A remarkable likeness, to say the least. Wait, did you see some there? Uh, no. I fear they may have conflated our countenances, my lady. <laughs> How very awful. <laughs> Fie! Who has the courage to heed the Empire's call? Your strong heart today will build a strong, more ordain tomorrow! Of course, you get more than a salary. Pension and benefits are included. Distinguish yourself, and you could even join the nobility. For the glory of the Ardanian Empire and his majesty, Emperor Niall! Come now! Who wants to be the hero of tomorrow? Hmm. What's the deal over there? Driver recruitment. Driver recruitment? Recently, they've been recruiting drivers from all over. The pool of potentials is ever shrinking. They must have run out of candidates in the military. What do you mean by potentials? I'm not sure I follow. Just see for yourself. Don't do it, bro. It's too dangerous. What will we do if something happens to you? Oh, look after us. But please. I, I know it's dangerous, but if I can be become a driver. Out of the way, Ipsqueak. Go. All right. Come on, Blade Boy. Oh, show me what you got. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he's done for. Indeed. Oh, oh. oh bark and no bite. I can't tell if they what? like the guy died or if like oh. he's just super what injured. Just All that blood. Couldn't handle the core crystal's power. That's what happens. When someone unqualified touches a core crystal, truly lamentable. Wait, you need a qualification to be a driver. Perhaps aptitude would be a better word. Aptitude? No! Is there nobody else here ready to test their strength for the glory of the Empire? Oh, how about you? What say you? 
Death for our side with bold heart. No. Don't, don't worry. Your big bro's gonna be a driver, and then we'll be set for life. Don't, don't do it. it. <laughs> There's your aptitude. It's amazing that they could tell that the person had aptitude before, like, there was any visible signs to me, I guess. Aww, what a shame, you pulled a generic. Core crystal turn into a weapon. That is how blades are born, Rex. What? But when I touch Pyra's. She's a special case. Pyra's the Aegis, remember? So the usual rules don't apply. All that business with sharing her life force, it's not exactly normal. Wait, what does the Aegis even mean? Jin and Malos, they called her that too. Dunno. All I know is that it's some kind of legendary blade. Why don't you just ask her yourself? Let's go. No point sticking around for the enrollment ceremony and all that boring stuff. You've arrived in Torgoth, Gormod's largest settlement. So now it's a good time to talk about developing towns. Towns and all rest are rated according to their level of development. This is called their development level, or dev level for short. A town's development level can be raised by earning dev points. When a town's dev level goes up, you can expect the price of goods in shops to go down. Some shops might even expand their ranges and sell never before seen products. You can earn dev points by completing quests and resolving residents' difficulties. It's also possible to earn a few dev points just by talking to a few people you meet. You can view the dev level of a town at any time you go shopping, and also by going to main menu, skip travel. As a public spirited citizen of Alres, you should do all you can to raise the dev level of its sediment settlements. Have you been shopping yet? If you make it to a new town, be sure to check out all <laughs> what the local merchants have to offer. There's a good chance they'll have a few new products that were previously unavailable to you. You might even use skip travel to head back to Argentium to see how the goods here compare to the ones there. Okay. Are you done? Are you done telling me what to do? Um... Let me see what core chips we can buy. Ooh, we can buy a wing chip. Let's go ahead and... Apply that. Strengthen our, our blades. And I suppose it's a good time to actually you know, kind of look at my blades. Oh, I'm, I'm really bad at navigating the menus. Okay, there we go. So, we can check on blade growth. My usefulness has increased. Awesome. So, we've unlocked that. We've definitely already taken care of that. So, let's look at Rex. Um... I don't have enough points to upgrade any of that. Ooh, I kind of want to save for that. This whole thing with core crystals, touching them to create blades. It's pretty amazing when you think about it. We blades start out formless, anchored to the world only by our core crystal. Only the touch of a potential can imbue us with form and being. 
and it is by those forms we come to be known. So you see, my boy, in some ways it is only the fated touch of a driver that allows the blades to exist at all. Wow. Why does it happen that way, though? Now, that is something no one knows. It's just how it's always been. Blades come in all shapes and sizes. Some human-shaped, some not. Some people say the shape depends on the kind of person the driver is. The resonance between blade and driver is a mysterious thing. Pyra, she was crying when I met her. Was she brought to life by someone once? Just like a normal blade? What is the Aegis? Really? Halt! Nobody move! Oh dear. Looks like Imperial troops. Great. Hey, what's going on? That fugitive in your company is an enemy of the state, a member of Torna. Nia? A member of Torna? It's her, all right. Garmotti Driver, White Beast Form Blade. She looks exactly like the wanted poster. What wanted poster? <laughs> See for yourself. Wow, it really does. Oi, watch it. Uh, I mean, no way. This doesn't look anything like. Wait, we've got no time for this. Who cares if it looks just like her? Hmm. Now, as for you, you look like a driver too. Registration number? Five, three, nine? Knock it off, you fool. <laughs> All new drivers must register with Endor. No number means you must be an illegal, unregistered driver. No, you don't get it. You're coming with me. We'll see what the console has to say about this. Rex, Dromak and I are gonna make a move. Get ready to run. We're not leaving without you. This is our problem, not yours. I'm pretty sure he wants to arrest all of us. So this is my problem too. Sheesh, you're a stubborn one in you. Gramp says the same thing. Okay, we go on three. We'll go left, you go right. Okay. Just give the word. Okay, let's do this. You, you, you're going to resist? Seriously? Well, what do you think? When? Two. All, all right, men. We've got them outnumbered. Move in and take them down. Three. Watch yourself, Rex. You put your feet up over there. All right, Gramps? <laughs> It's time for me to tell you about cancel attacks. If you execute an art at the precise moment that an auto attack connects, a ring of light will appear around you. This ring of light tells you that your cancel attack has been successful. A successful cancel attack will be more effective than an art executed normally. Also, the recharge gauge will fill up faster afterwards so you can really get an advantage from using cancel attacks. The effect of the cancel attack will increase with the stage of the auto attack, so try to execute it on the third blow to get the most bang for your buck. All right. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. I don't know if I'm actually executing it properly. I thought you were going to take the ones on the other side. They're so strong! Such strength from a measly two fighters! Their drivers are right! Rex! No! You got it! Wrong. A wall made of fire! Such a commotion. Just when I thought I could enjoy a little peace and quiet. Oh, lady! Bridget. Bridget? Is she a blade? 
What? Where's our driver? My driver is otherwise engaged at present. I am here alone. No driver? <laughs> Lady Bridget is the jewel of Morrison, the strongest blade in the Empire. Even alone keeps more than a match. Lady Bridget, these miscreants are terrorists working for Tori. Please lend me your power to bring them to justice. That emerald core crystal. Could it really be true? Well, Captain Padre, you are not to kill them. Take these ones in alive. Welcome. Men, bring me your new water. Okay, time to take you down. You may have gotten the gist for yourself already, but let me go into more detail on blade combos. The indicator on the arrow is pointing right now represents a blade combo request from a blade currently engaged by the character you're controlling. This is displayed when one of your currently engaged blade specials would like to initiate a blade combo, and also when one of the blade specials would be able to extend a blade combo that's currently in progress. Blade combos may have a massive impact on those in the battlefield, so try not to miss these opportunities. I think I did it right that time. Here we go. What? She she repelled our attack. She's so strong. Mm, and this is without a driver. Stop yammering. Just get it. Drum up. Drum up. This is an Ethernet. <laughs> Wait till you use your precious arts when you can't draw ether from the atmosphere. Even blades have weaknesses. This is one such weakness. Without the flow of ether, blades are quite useless. Nia, draw mark! Get out of here, Rex! Save yourself! I'm not gonna do that. I can't just leave you here. You've got your own mission, just move it! Yeah, but... No bets, go! Rex, we must withdraw for now. It's our only chance. But... You won't escape. Ricks! Ah! Ah! Damn it! Huh? Ah! Water! No! Ah! Burning sword! Stop! Hyra! Yes! That's right, Rex. Run and never look back. To pull that off despite all this water. So, the legends of the ages are real. She's so cool looking. That is the sneakiest, uh, door ever. <laughs> Thanks. You saved us. But I gotta ask, why? No reason. No reason? Sorry, that not true. Truth is, Tora not like those big bully soldiers. Was thinking to test out shiny new Boom Biter on big bullies. 
<laughs> That's when Tora see friends running from them. Boom by to mist and hit water pipe. But results not so bad, hey? Oh. So you shot the pipe. That right. And you're Tora. I'm Rex. And this is Pyra. It's so lovely to meet you. Good to meeting. <laughs> huh? Oh, actually, Tora have other reason for save you. Which is? Don't worry. Explain everything when get to House of Tora. This way. I hope you guys really love Tora's voice. Because this will be a long let's play if you don't. <laughs> um, speaking of... Uh, sound. I want the subtitles on. We can raise that. We can <laughs> lower these. We can raise that. Narration heard during battle. What if I drop that to almost nothing? That's fine. I'm curious to see if that changes anything. Alright, let's go to the house of Torah. The boy and his blade, who seemed to be working with them, got away. But we apprehended the girl from the wanted poster along with her blade. The town is once again safe or... See, Podrick, do you remember what my orders were? Sir? I told you to capture the blade with the Emerald Core Crystal, did I not? Do you recall me ever telling you to capture some little girl with barely a bounty on her head? But, sir, she's a member of Torna. I'll say it slowly for you, just so we're clear. Get the blade with the emerald. Um, Consul Dougal, sir. What? I'm not exactly sure what color emerald is supposed to be. Oh, give me strength! It's green, you idiot! Emerald is green! Like this! Green! Get it, ya clod? Oh, green! I get it now. So, emeralds are green. Huh. You dunderhead! How many blades do you see with green core crystals? It's patently obvious! How do you mix that blade up with some worthless cat monster? Actually, sir, technically I believe that's a tiger <laughs> rather than a... Science! Ah. Consul! What is it? Haven't you heard of knocking? My apologies, sir. It's just that Lady Morag has... What? Special Inquisitor Morag has just arrived from the Motherland. Already? Her ship has just docked. This... this cannot be happening! Oh man, it's gonna keep advancing. I just wanted to say really quick that Emerald can be a variety of colors, but I would think that the color that people typically associate with emerald is, in fact, green. Jeez, is like a titan growing in that thing? Like, how is that thing even constructed?
You live down here? This just back door. Front entrance over there. Makes sense. Whoa! Is that the cloud sea down there? We're so high up. Nice view, eh? Tora likes to just sit and watch cloud sea sometimes. You have a wonderful home. <laughs> anyway, um, Rex Rex. Rex Rex? Rex Rex. Tora, explain other reason I help you. You see... Tora always wanted to make driver friends. Ah, interested in drivers, are you? But of course. Tora think it's amazing how Driver and Blade join spirits together to make big power. Tora really want to be sidekick of Rex Rex. Um, you know my name is just Rex, right? One Rex, not two. What is point? Well, nothing, I guess. <laughs> it just sounds a bit different from what I'm used to. Double name just show Tora's respect. Respect for great driver. Rex Rex should be proud. I'm not sure I've earned all that yet. Oh, all right. You can call me Rex Rex if it makes you happy. But instead of all this sidekick stuff, can't we just be friends? Really? Tora will be friend of Rex Rex? Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> what a funny little guy. Hey, Tora, do you know much about this town? Huh? You wouldn't happen to know where the army takes prisoners, would you? Rex, you're not planning to... We have to save Nier and Dromark. I thought you'd say that. You talk about Driver and Blade who were with Rex Rex before Tora's daring rescue. Yeah. Meh meh. Tora would have to ask around town for info like that. Hmm. Before we do anything, time for food. All of today's running around make Tora hungry. Need food to help Rex Rex. I'm a little peckish too. Can't we eat later? I want to find Nia and Dromok as soon as possible. <laughs> Stomach of Rex Rex tell different story. I... I can't help it, can I? Um... If it's all right with everyone, I could cook something. Pyra? I didn't know you could cook. <laughs> well, as long as fire is involved, I can do almost anything. Fry, steam, grill, you name it. Whoa! If you want ice cream, though, you might have to find someone else. Well, you can't have everything. Tora, do you have any ingredients I could work with? Just wooden pantry there. Not much, really. Tora, sorry. It doesn't seem wise to go out and buy more supplies, so we'll just have to make do with what we have. Let's see what we've got, then. Glitter spuds, sump skins. Oh, here's an oil oyster and a single meaty carrot. And hot oranges, too. These aren't bad ingredients at all. All food that can be eaten with no cooking! That's how Tora usually eat. That's a bit depressing. We aren't much better ourselves, you know. I guess you're right. So what do you think, Pyra? Can you make something with this? Yes, I think this should be enough. I'll just use the kitchen, okay? I just thought of a great menu idea. Look forward to that later. Uh, I'm guessing it's this glitter bake. Oh, man, this is delicious. Oh, yum, yummy. So super very tasty. Simply exquisite. I haven't eaten this well in 120 years. Glad you liked it. It seems like I did okay. I was worried I'd have gotten a little rusty over the years. It didn't taste rusty at all. Uh, um, I mean... But Tora is curious. Pyra is fire-using blade, yes? 
When Tora broke that water pipe, Pyra could still make fire. Come to think of it, you're right. That Bridget, the Imperial Blade, she used fire abilities just like Pyra, but the water seemed to douse much of her strength. So, what are you saying? This world full of elemental energy called ether, yes? Ether comes in forms like fire, water, and wind. While battling, drivers and blades both draw power from ether. But fire not good with water. Other blade woman got splooshy with water, so fire powers all damp. But Pyra and I were able to use our powers with no problem. Indeed. They were unaffected. Why? Um, well, my powers don't come from fire. Meh meh? If power's not fire, why look like flames? That may be a little complicated to explain. Go on then. Tora like complicated things a lot. <laughs> uh, well, um, I, uh, 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 it. Knock it off, Tora. Can't you see you're making her uncomfortable? Eh. Everyone has things they'd rather not talk about. Right? I'm sorry. I'm sure. I'll be able to tell you about it soon enough. Don't worry about it. Right now, we need to think about how to rescue Nia. First, we go around town and find all information we can. Hmm. Yes, I dare say that we're all wanted criminals by this point. Pyra sticks out like a sore thumb. I'm so sorry. Don't worry, friends. Tora has an idea. Special Inquisitor Morag! To what do we owe this extreme pleasure? Had we but heard of your grace's visit, we could have prepared a suitable... I don't stand on ceremony, Consul. I'd rather you just did your job. Y your grace Someone of your standing deserves to be treated as such. You are his majesty's representative. Please permit us to lay on a meal befitting your grace. Until then, we would be honored if... You made impressive time. I wasn't expecting you until tomorrow. Oh, Lady Bridget! If we have found the Aegis, then there is no time to waste. But I fear the passage has taken its toll on our engines. The Aegis? H how do you... Is there a problem, Dougal? N uh, not at all, Your Grace. Good. Now, you've captured a driver from Torna. I am going to speak with her. What? Uh, why do you want... Dougal. I don't remember asking for your opinion. Y yes Your Grace. I'll take you to her right away. <laughs> oh, gotta love the no-nonsense from her. So, you are the Torna Ruffian. I must say you look a little different from your poster. A little different. Whoever drew that should be the one in jail. <laughs> yes, I would be angry too. You can drop the friendly act. You won't name your friends? My friends? I'm not so sure I'd call those trigger happy Torna goons friends. I see. I think we have our wires crossed here. I am not talking about Torna. Huh? You're not? No, I was referring to your more recent traveling companions. The driver boy and his blade. Rex and Pyra. Well, that was easy. Damn it! Yeah, you're a little bad at, uh, 
that. This looks like it could actually work. Good idea, Tora. Right! Let's look for friends of Rex Rex! I somehow think, um, the race to find Nia received. Sure, we'll set that as our active quest. I somehow think that, you know, we're doing a decent job of covering up her top, but I mean, look at those emerald highlights down below. And not only that, but why are you hopping? What are you doing? Stop it! You're, you're, <laughs> just hold still. But also, Rex's chest has that emerald core crystal shining bright as day, so I don't feel like we're doing a good job hiding who we are. Um, anyways. So, we can cook there. Um, I'll make it so that way you guys don't see what I just did just now because the camera went crazy and I don't want you to get sick. But up that ladder, there was nothing. It was just like, I'm guessing, uh... Tora's bed and stuff. Come out, come out. All right. Let's talk to this NPC. Have you heard anything about a girl called Nia who was captured by the Ardanians recently? Oh yeah, I heard about that. Some Ardanian dude was saying they were going to execute the prisoner within the next few days. Those Torna guys seem pretty bad, right? I heard they killed loads of drivers to steal their core crystals. Pretty amazing if the Empire had really captured one of them. The Empire's so cool. I wonder what they'll do at this execution thing anyway. I've never seen one before. I've got to see it for myself. You guys should come along too. Thanks. Well, I feel like that is a good place to stop right now and leave you guys on a cliffhanger for the next episode. If you guys enjoyed this episode, please be sure to leave a like, and if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. Other than that, I'll see you guys in the next episode of Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Bye-bye!